this is giving me like old video vibes and I want to apologize for the lighting but I'm so recovering it's a link in the cards up above of what I'm recovering from and setting up the camera on a tripod and lights just you just use the spoons you got for the day so welcome to my channel welcome to this video you might be a little confused at the title but we are getting a dog I'm getting a dog and I'm so excited and we're going to get him on October 24th so six days it's Friday now and he is going to be my service dog in training and I'm so so excited so obviously we had to stock up on a lot of dog stuff and I wanted to share it all with you the first thing is very very basic and a must-have and that is a leash and we just got this from Petco and it's six feet and it's just we thought it was really cute because it has little doggies all over it so I'll let you guys know how I like this and then we have two colors and I think we're seeing which one we like better or we might change them out it really depends um, but we first have this blue and white striped one with silver hardware which is super cute so that's what it looks like and then there is this one that's like a heathered gray so they're both adjustable which is good so we have those basics and now for some doggy care we got the Burt's Bees oatmeal shampoo with colloidal oat flour and honey we got this at Walmart for a few bucks and someone was telling us that they did like it and that it smells good and that it worked for their dog so we picked it up and again I'll let you know how we like this and to go along with that I have the Furminator curry comb if I remember I'll link the video and in that video is how I discovered this brush it was someone was recommending a lot of dog products so what I'm excited for for this is that you slip your hand in so when you're brushing you kind of have a constant grip so I'll let you guys know how I like this but this is what it looks like for part of it so I'm excited for this and this was only four bucks on Amazon it was super cheap and we got him some toys as well we didn't get him a whole ton of toys I think I might get him another toy before we get them or after we get him see what toys he likes but we got three balls and then we have this tug chew and fetch toy for dogs so three and one which is gonna be looks like really good for him so we got this at Petco and then we got him this treat dispensing puzzle ball so you put a treat in it and like the name entails it's a puzzle so that's gonna help a lot with mental stimulation so just in general and especially if it's a rainy day or if it's too hot outside or what have you he has something to do that stimulates him mentally and he gets a treat so we got this and those are all his toys that we got and then these are the treats I believe that go into the puzzle ball and they're just the star marks training and behavior solutions interactive treats for mental stimulation toys so got this at Petco and then we have some dental chews which are greenies anytime treats breath buster bites and it's the chicken and parsley flavor and then we have some other like good treats I guess I don't know by play-doh pet treats um keep him busy duck and blueberry recipe so those are his treats that we got and we stopped to get him his dog food um but to kind of talking about treats is I got this Laney treat pouch training treat pouch I don't know if that's exactly what you call it but I got it off of Amazon it was pretty cheap and actually came with a few things so you can wear it across your body so like a cross body bag you can do that you can use it as a belt you can clip it on something or your pants or whatever um so it has straps and it has a clip and there's a zipper in the back there's a little see-through pouch right here and then inside 
it came with a clicker and a collapsible bowl and then this is what it looks like on the inside and then there's a little drawstring to close it all up so this is going to be super helpful while training to keep his treats in there which are easy grab or his kibble whatever i'm training with that day and then to go along with training we got him his training vest and I want to make it really 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 clear is that he is not going to be wearing this vest in like the general public until he starts task training so while we're still doing basic obedience the only time he will be wearing this is at home and around the neighborhood on walks and that's just to get him used to the feeling and walking with it and if we need to address any things that need to be corrected or trained or anything we can do that um, but I just wanted to make it clear that I'm not going to be taking him into public with a vest when he hasn't started task training so on the sides it just says service dog but it also came with these so I can just rip this off put the in training one on so one side says service dog and the other one says in training and this is pretty blue color like I said I got it got it off of Amazon it was pretty cheap and or pretty affordable I should say and I'll let you guys know how I like it and last but not least oh we also got some poop bags um but like I feel like I don't need to show you that because you know what they look like but last but not least we've had this for literally two years two years and I'm not even exaggerating because like we've just been waiting so long for me to get a service dog so if you've ever heard of the YouTube channel The Fry Life, Mary um, has cystic fibrosis and she has a service dog and they were selling little bandana packages with, it was so cute, it was so cute. The bandana came in here along with a stuffed Ollie which um, was a stuffed animal made after their dog so yeah. So it says The Fry Life, laugh every day and it looks tiny, it's just folded up. But that, oh, and we also got a dog bed. So I'll do a shot over this clip right here of what the bed looks like. It's super soft and comfy. It's right here. So, and it's pretty sturdy. So, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe down below, and stay tuned because one of the next videos you guys watch will be introducing Indie to you all. So, I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.